So in this video, we're going to show off some of the new features of Swift Playgrounds 4, including importing packages. Uh, the first thing to do is create a new, new application, and we're going to rename it to Motion Demo. From there, the first thing I need to do is import the necessary package. So I'm going to go to the Git repository. Uh, this is the package I'm going to use. It's called SwiftUI Charts. It's fairly well established, has lots of commits also made for SwiftUI. So I'm going to copy the URL from the Git repository. I'm going to go back to my Swift Playgrounds. So I'm going to put the link in there just for reference, but then I need to open up the Project Explorer, click on the new file and select Swift Package. Copy and paste in that Git repository and Swift Playgrounds will then find the latest dependency once I hit return. So once it's found that, I'm happy with the latest stable release, I can add that to the project and it'll download all the dependencies. So you can look there, you can see all the file repositories if you need to make any extensions or changes to them. So I know it's working because I'll be able to import the library. I can see that's successful. And while I'm here, I'm also going to import the core motion library, which we'll be using. So I'm going to delete what the defaults there. I'm going to start to create my places where I'm going to store the motion manager. And also the queue, which will handle the operation as we start to receive that data. So next I want to uh, create some states where I'm going to store the data that we receive from each of the three axes. So we have pitch, yaw, and roll. So the three axes, as you know, from aviation, or you may not. From there, we can start to play with our motion manager. So first of all, I'm gonna create the graph in which all the data will be displayed. So this comes directly from the library. I'm just gonna spread out each of the different parameters for this view just so that we can see what's available, and then we'll start to fill them in. I'm gonna do the same thing with the data just so we can expand out the list. Uh, you have noticed in my states, I've actually recorded them as lists of doubles as well, just because we're receiving lots of different values. So from there, have the pitch, and we can use these inbuilt gradient colors which are available within the library. So I have my pitch, my yaw, my roll, and those will be the data which is displayed on the three different axes. Okay, from there, I can change the title. I can set a legend if I choose to. But I'm going to remove that one. The chart style, again, I'm going to remove that. I can set the form size just so it sits extra large. Set the drop shadow to false. Get rid of that one. Get rid of the last one. So you can choose which of the parameters you actually want to include. So now I have my graph showing. I'm going to add a little padding just to get it off the edges there. Next, um, I'm going to use the on appear. So this will load up as soon as this view appears. Uh, and then from there, I can start to play with the modifier for the motion manager. So find my motion manager. I'm going to start checking the sensors using start devices motion updates myself a little bit room, more room and then I'm going to use that queue which I created before just to buffer the data a little bit and then create that closure where I have the data and also the error from there I can find the data use that to be explicit. So we could use a guard there, but I just made it shorthand to make it a little bit more simple. And then we can append each of the different pieces of data. So I did say that I want to put these as doubles, so I'm just wrapping them as doubles as well. So the yaw, change the pitch to roll, and we have it working. So if we display, when I start to move my iPad around, I can see those three axes and it starts to graph the data in pretty much real time. It's fairly quick actually. 